Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be giving you some tips for how to make an interactive agency website. If you have an online marketing agency type of business and you're looking to have a minimal agency website to display your products and services, your brand details, and your contact information, then in this video, I'll be showing you a few different sections you can add to the homepage of your Shopify store to help to make that good impression on your clients and your website visitors. I'll be covering ways you can describe your brand's description, goals, and focuses, how you can introduce yourself or the founder of the brand, as well as how to customize your contact page, and also how to set up a blog page on Shopify if you are interested in featuring a blog on your website. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. One of the first tips I can recommend for creating an effective Shopify homepage to introduce your agency would be to include plenty of sections throughout your homepage to introduce your brand and describe your brand's goal, focuses, and mission. This can help your clients to learn more about your brand and also help to form a connection with your brand. You can choose to display your brand's qualities and touch points, and you can add some more in-depth sections to describe any new brand updates and your brand goals. I'll be showing you a quick beginner-friendly section you can add to your homepage to describe your brand's goal and help your clients have a little bit better of an understanding of your agency's goals. First off, you're going to want to open Shopify, then click Online Store and Themes. You can go ahead and customize your currently published theme, or if you need, you can install one of Shopify's free themes. When you click the full screen icon, it's going to show your website in a full screen view. And when you click the phone icon, you'll be able to view your website in a mobile form. Also, when you click these three dots, then click preview. This is where you'll be able to preview your website in full. You're going to want to choose on your homepage where you're going to display this section. I'll be adding this section midway through the website. In between sections, I'm going to click add section. And here I'm going to add an image banner. You'll see off to the left of the screen, you'll have a few different editing options for this banner section. Under first image, I'm going to upload a background picture for this banner. Then under image overlay opacity, you can choose to darken this background picture. I'll be removing the container on desktop. And then under image behavior, you can choose to apply a fixed background position. You can title the heading text. Then I'm going to click on the description text, and this is where you can describe your brand's goal and focuses. Then I'm going to click on the button labels, and I'm going to remove the second button label. I'm going to title the first button label contact us, and then you can choose to link this to your contact page or to other pages within your store. Then I'll be applying the outline button style. You want this section to flow into your website and match the overall color scheme and style of your homepage. And you can also choose to add a few other in-depth sections to describe a little bit more about your brand and what your brand offers. Also, if you do like the style and layout of this agency website I've designed, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of Shopify theme templates designed for many types of businesses. These will help to give your business that professional look and layout without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. If you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, after your order, you're going to receive the theme in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to publish it and edit it to fit your business. I have Shopify themes for skincare and beauty businesses, and I also have some for clothing and dropshipping businesses. There is a step-by-step -step installation guide included to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And most of my themes are template bundles that also include logo templates, brand kit templates, and more. I will link this Shopify theme template in the description box below, along with where you can go shop my other Shopify themes. The next tip I can highly recommend for helping your website visitors engage and feel a connection to your brand would be to add a section to introduce yourself or the founder or creator of the brand. You want this to be a visually appealing section with simple, effective text to introduce the founder of the brand and even describe their mission with a brand. Along with this, you're going to want a minimal contact page that is accessible and easy to navigate. I'll be showing you how you can customize your contact page and add a couple sections to help it display your contact information. So again, you want to open your Shopify website and I'm going to click on the menu and open the contact page. Here's currently the base for the contact page and I'll be showing you a minimal way. You can list a few more of your brand's contact details on your contact page. So above the contact section, I'm going to click add section to template, and then I'm going to insert a rich text. I'm going to click on the heading text. And here you can title the heading, and you'll have a few different editing options for this text. You can choose to put this text in bold, italic, and you can also insert a link leading to another page within your store. And then I'll be increasing the heading size. When you click on this rich text section, you have a few section editing options. Under desktop content position is where you can reposition the overall content. And under content alignment is where you can reposition the text and the button label. You also have the option to set this to another color scheme within your store. 
you want to make sure you're choosing colors that tie in with the rest of your website. And when you uncheck to make the section full width, it's going to make a sort of loading text section. Then I'm going to click on this button label and I'll be removing that button label. I'm going to click on the contact form and I'm going to remove this heading text. Next, I'm going to click on this text description and I'm going to duplicate this section. You can choose to duplicate it again. And also when you click this plus icon, you can insert more text lines. And here's where you can insert some of your contact details. You can choose to list your contact hours, your email, your phone number, and you can add a few more details. You have a few different text options. You can choose to bold the text and make it larger. And if you need to, you can create bullet lists and numbered lists to feature your organized contact details. And here I'll just be adding the brand's example email. And that's a quick way you can choose to add a few contact details to your contact page. And don't forget if you do need to customize the form on your contact page, you can find a contact form builder app on Shopify's app store and install it into your store. Personally, I can recommend the Hulk form builder app, which can help you to customize your contact form and add different types of form fields. And they do have a free plan for you to use. And the last tip I can recommend for your agency website is for if you are going to be setting up a Shopify blog, having a blog on your website can help you to discuss and also educate your clients on the type of services that your business offers. You can make blog posts to give marketing advice. And let's say if you have an agency for entrepreneurs, you can make blog posts giving tips on entrepreneurship and how to market a business. I'll be showing you how you can edit your default blog page on Shopify and also how you can create a blog post on Shopify. Here on Shopify, I'm going to click blog posts. And this is the page where you'll be able to create new blog posts and assign them to different blogs in your store. I'm going to click manage blogs. And here you're going to see your default news blog. And when you click on this, you can choose to retitle the blog and you can also edit the comments setting. I'll be leaving this titled the news blog. And then here under blog posts, I'm going to click add blog post. And this is the page where you'll be able to add your blog post. For an overview, you'll be able to type in the blog post title. Under content is where you're going to insert your text, your content and your media for this blog post. And up here, you'll also be able to insert images and videos throughout the blog post as well. Under visibility, you'll want to make sure to set your blog post to visible if it is ready to be published. You'll be able to insert a featured image for this blog post, and you'll have a few other setting options. So here I'm titling this blog post, and then under content, I'm going to be adding the blog post description. So for this video, I'll be using ChatGPT to write this example blog post. When you select the text, you have different editing options. You'll be able to put the text in bold, italic, you can underline the text, and you can make bullet lists and number lists to help organize your blog post text. You also have the option to edit the text colors and also the text background color. Then when you click this insert image icon, you'll be able to upload pictures throughout this blog post. Next, you can upload a featured image for the blog post. And then I'm going to save this blog post. And when you click this view icon, this is where you'll be able to view the blog post in full screen. Then you're going to go in to customize your website and you can choose a section on your website where you're going to feature your blog and your blog link. Here's currently my blog page. I have added a couple sections to fill this page, but most importantly, you're going to want to add one of these blog post sections. You can do that by clicking add section to template and inserting a blog post section. You're going to want to select which blog you'll be featuring. And here's the display of how that blog post is listed. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. 
If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're going to receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the section and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo templates, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.